Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Common Sense Academy. I wanted you to get a good shot of the super cool Abe Lincoln USA shirt that I have on. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. On today's episode, I'm good. This is this is short, okay? But I found this on the internet and it cracked me up. So most people think when they think lawyers in their head, they think, oh, boring, boring. I got to tell you, I'm a lawyer. You all know I'm funny, but <laughs> but the lawyers I've met in my career are some of the funniest freaking people ever. I mean, you want to talk about sarcasm and snark? You ain't going to find a, a, a profession. Well, I don't want to say that, but, they, but there is more than enough to go around in the world of attorneys. So what we're looking at here is a website called Avo. It's a site for attorneys where uh, people, potential clients or people with legal questions can go and post their questions and lawyers will respond to them. Well, what do we have here? A post by a sovereign citizen. And the question is, what is UCC 1308? And can you give back your social and birth certificate? Okay, you can see that right here in the middle. Okay. And then he goes on to ask uh, below, just wondering what UCC 1308 is and how to go about giving back your birth certificate as well as your social security number. So we're going to go through, there's three answers here. Two of them are pretty darn funny, in my opinion. And one of them, I don't know, the guy must have taken the question seriously. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to the Common Sense Academy. I'm Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Also, please consider becoming a patron. There is a link to my Patreon in the description below. It's right at the top, just a couple dollars a month. Um, it helps give me motivation. It helps pay for my show, the show. It helps give me the time and resources to make this show fun and interesting. Okay, so this guy goes on to this legal website for lawyers to answer questions from clients. Says, just wondering what UCC 1308 is and how to go about giving your birth certificate as giving back your birth certificate as well as your social security number. What a great idea. Scroll down here. Okay, three attorney answers, okay? You can see this gentleman here. He's a five-star attorney, okay? Look up here, Gary Ralph Elmanen, five-star attorney. Here's his answer. Don't worry your pretty little head about it. <laughs> That's it. That was Gary's answer. Don't worry your pretty little head about it, okay? So I'm wondering if Gary, you know, shot the zinger at this guy because he knows he's a sovereign citizen or if Gary just has that much snark and sarcasm built up in him that it rains down whenever he has an opportunity. I, I don't think he knew he was dealing with a sovereign. Okay, let's look at the next one. This guy here, another five-star attorney, Walter Joseph Tenza, posted August 17th, 2016. He says, you may or may not want, <laughs> he says, you may or may not want to explain how brain injury, UCC 1308, and giving back your birth certificate and social security number relate to each other. <laughs> so Walter is just assuming that this person has a brain injury due to the question okay and uh here's a fun wait there's another good part here two lawyers agree with that one no lawyers agreed with gary's okay and uh okay we got what oh so he put it in the category i see now he put it in the category personal injury and brain injury, social security, and birth certificate. <laughs> personal injury and brain injury. And, uh, and Walter here, a, a, a king of snark, you may or may not want to explain how brain injury, UCC 1308, and giving back your birth certificate and social security number relate to each other. 
The answer is they don't relate to each other in any way at all. It, there's no relation. There's no relation between those three, three things. UCC 1308 is a contract provision, and then birth certificate and social security have nothing to do with that. And then let's take a look here at our third attorney answer. Um, okay, this is the third one. This is Elliot M. Wolf, 17 reviews, 10 star AVO rating. All right. He just posts, he just puts UCC 11308 right in the answer. He says, a party with explicit reservation of rights performs or promises performance or assents to performance in a manner demanded or offered by the other party does not thereby prejudice the right the rights reserved. He just explained what it is. Okay, May, Elliot, you're a good attorney, but you may be the reason that some of us lawyers are branded boring. Whereas our good friends here, Walter and Gary, they break the mold. Gary was very, very snarky. Don't worry your pretty little head about it. So I just, I just really got a, a kick out of this, everyone. This is obviously a sovereign citizen posting on Ovo. He doesn't, he's, he's probably new to the movement because he should know you can't ask attorneys who are members of the British crown, loyal to the crown, these types of questions. You got to go find your sovereign citizen guru. So thank you everybody, everybody for tuning in. I, this was just so funny. I had to share. Thank you for tuning in to Joe Pometto, Joe, the lawyer, Common Sense Academy. If you like my content, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Also consider becoming a patron on my Patreon. Shout out to Jonathan Backman, Thomas Castro, Michael Ray, and Art Vandalay, Jacqueline Chandler, Richard Pierce, Pim Van Muirs, and Romantis for being dedicated patrons to the Common Sense Academy. You keep me going. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Peace out.